So I worked at Bally's at the gym. And we would have, I was in Hollywood, El Centro Bally Toto Fitness. I don't know if you remember that. It was uh, uh, down the street from Highland and Hollywood. Biggest, yes. biggest Bally's in, in, in the world was in Hollywood, off of El Centro, uh, next to you know Los Angeles Church of Christ that later ended up becoming a cult, which has never happened before. But no. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm going to this gym, and I used to work at uh, Chatsworth Bally's off of... Uh, uh, DeSoto, yep, which I yep, don't know yep. if you know that one. Yeah, the the one with the outdoor pool. And it's down the street from Rogan. He used to live by Bell Canyon. It's like 15 minutes away, yep. 10 minutes away. So we would have uh, Russian Jews would come by to buy memberships. Mm -hmm. And Indians would come by to buy memberships. Okay. And nobody could sell them. It was very hard to sell to Russian Jews and Indians. But we're not as unknown as historically athletic people, so. Yeah, but <laughs> what, why do you think, what, what do you think when it comes down to the two profiles, okay, the, 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 uh, the ability or the desire to want to get anything to be the lowest price possible, a better deal than anybody else. Is that a genetic thing? I think is that it is. A, you think it is? I think it is. But also. It's a gift though, right? I mean, that's like. If, uh, you're, if you're able to negotiate that way, that's a gift. I, I tap out easy. I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm not here to argue. With you. <laughs> I'm just like, whatever. Just shut up. Just shut up and let me go now. Yeah, that's the what did you call it? That's the Anglo Indian. That's, that's the, the Anglo Indian. That's the like, Indian. All right, shut up now, pal. The negotiation genes didn't come to you. No, not not well. And I I think I'm doing well sometimes. And my friends like, that's why'd you pay that? I'm like, well. I thought yeah. that was not a deal. I thought I got a good deal. No, you didn't. And then my brain also goes, you know, you have way more than that person. You should be generous. That's what my brain does. Yeah. Like wow. when we were in India uh, just recently, I, I took a rickshaw. Is that your heart or your brain? Uh, my heart, probably. Yeah. yeah. My, I was in India. We got a rickshaw, and uh, in Calcutta, they have the one guy that still pulls you. He's got no shoes on, and he's the wooden wheels on this thing, and so he's dragging you through the city. And I go, "How much to take me back to the hotel?" He says, "50 rupees. That's uh, 60 cents. 60 cents. That's what it costs." He gets me there. I only have 500 rupees in my pocket which is $6. I go, here. And he's like, and I go, keep it. And, and then everyone else is like, why would you do that? He's going to raise his price. I'm like, what? <laughs> you're not worried about this guy? This guy's running around the city carrying you with no shoes on. You're concerned with him raising the fucking price? You greedy bastard. I don't like greed. But is that the typical profile or is that you? That's me. Yeah. That's me. For sure, that's me. So, you know, back in the days when you could get away with this because there wasn't all the HR stuff they have today, what worked for me was the following. We had uh, all the managers in the office, and I, I, I was the TO guy. TO means you turn it over to this person to come and close. He's the closer that would say, hey, Pat, So you were selling the. These. I was selling gym memberships, okay. right? And I would. But, you know, I'll tell you where the gym membership game went wrong is when they started doing it, and then they would. You would think you're signing up for a year, but it would be they'd still be taking it out of your account. Well, monthly. that was Bally's issue. They would sign a 36 month contract at Bally's. Yeah, it was five down, 36 month contract, right? And then it would come back down and be like five bucks a month. That it, was their way was of auto selling. renew. It was auto renew, 36 months. Yeah, and then guess what? That's why Bally's is no longer around. They went right. out of business, and LA Fitness bought them out. But if I knew somebody came in, I would test Armenians out because I'm Armenian. So they would always say, yeah, yeah. Like, give me and something you, and you have to make them feel like you did. And God forbid if the they find you hear out, Akbar, you get, you're done. That's right. <laughs> yeah. But when it came down to Indians, if I would come up, do, say something, and I would say, listen, I know one thing you're going to do today. I'm going to give you a tour. I'm going to give you all the deals. And you're not going to buy nothing today. You're going to waste an hour of my uh, day, and you will not buy nothing. I will buy. I guarantee you won't buy nothing. I won't buy nothing. I said, I know you're. You're not going to buy nothing. You came with your Mercedes. You're probably a doctor. You everything you do, you negotiate hardcore. There's no way. I guarantee you won't buy anything today. You don't think I buy any? I don't. You will. There's no way so you're going to you buy play, something. You would play on their ego. And you know what happened? They would call the manager, and the manager's uh, my groomsman at my wedding. Right, right, right. I'll say, you know what? This man called me cheap. He says, I am so sorry. I'm so apologetic about the way he behaved. I'm going to write him up. And then he would give him a tour, come back, sell him the biggest membership they could sell. Yep. So the idea was the pride. If God forbid you offended their pride, the fact that they can afford it, they would pay premium. 
Well, that's I, that's that's where you, you know, when you prey on ego, you're always going to win. I had to have no friend of mine. He's very rich. He wanted to he wanted to get a he, he wanted to rent out the hotel for his wedding. Yeah, the and whole hotel, the whole hotel. Yeah, and he's very rich, very very wealthy kid. They told him the price, and he said, "Can you do better?" And they said, "If this price is too high, we suggest you find another hotel." He just preyed on his ego. Oh yeah, fuck you, I'm taking it. You know what I mean? Like, and I've done dumb things like that in the past. You know, I remember getting on a flight one time, going to get on a flight, and they were giving me a hard time. The lady was really rude at the counter, and blah blah blah. And they go, you know what? Fuck you. I'm going to take a private jet, and I did. And you know that little fuck you moment meant nothing to her. She's not even going to remember it. And I'm the one stuck with the bill now. Like an ass. She's asshole. watching it right now, saying, "What? Yeah. I sold you. I got paid twenty percent commission on that on the back end." Yeah. Right. So I mean, you know, when you play on people's egos, people's ego is a motherfucker, ain't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's it's all of us uh, a fall for that every once in a while. In these uncertain times, if there's anything we need is we need people to believe the future looks bright. So you, if you've heard about me saying this mission to you, we're on a mission to get a million people to wear this gear. And this is what we're doing. If you buy one of these hats, there's a category of buying one hat, getting the second one free. If you haven't yet worn this gear publicly, go ahead and test it out. Buy some of the gear, wear it in public, and see how many people will stop by and say, you also, you're also watch a value, Tim? You, you also follow PBD Podcast? I do too. Place your order. Go to vtmerch.com. Click on the link above or below. Place your order and represent the VT and the PBD podcast gear. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.